The stuff we collect is a part of our identity, and letting it go can feel like losing a piece of ourselves. Saving memorabilia is understandable, but the ability to decide what other things are worth keeping can get muddy. Hoarding belongings can be problematic and requires help to restore balance. In my situation, I have a hard time letting go of stuff I feel can still be used, and as it collects, it gets moved to nooks where it is forgotten. The stash nooks remain untouched as I collect new stuff, so I pile additional things to save on top or get boxes to stash elsewhere. Organizing or letting go of items will free up space and allow your identity to expand. Uh, look through your memorabilia and make sure it is properly stored. Check items for damage and make digital copies. Empty picture frames and reuse them or store them separately. Keeping memorabilia tied to traumatic events is necessary for healing and remembrance, so consider moving the items to a special box. Apply a similar process to your digital memorabilia. Other belongings can also be tied to traumatic events, trigger terrible memories, and haunt you because you can't let go. They are a time bomb that gathers dread like dust. Be brave. Confront your fear and dispel the doom. Do not let items control your emotions, uh, unless you like living in a horror movie. Old hobbies can be rediscovered and pursued, but starter items may be improvised or damaged. Remind yourself uh, of what is there and ponder whether you may continue the hobby. Rebox smaller if possible. Trash, recycle, or donate the appropriate stuff. Gently used clothes are great for donating, but worn and stained clothes are great to save as rags. They can absorb a big spill, clean your windows, wipe the car dashboard, and shine your shoes. But throw them away after you use them. Or, uh, or don't save rags. Get rid of unneeded or damaged dishes. Are you a mug collector, or do mugs collect? Or winery glasses, or other kinds of dishes? Scratched or peeling nonstick pans are trash. Books are hard to give away, but sometimes you need the space for new ones. Read the unread and donate what doesn't hold your interest. Uh, electronics often come with a cable that works with devices with the same port. Check if a device requires its included cable to operate. See if new cables work with compatible devices and recycle older cables, but keep a couple of spares just in case. Leaky chemical containers and rusty things are health hazards. Properly dispose of chemicals and learn how to remove rust to save tools or trash them. Also, don't save duplicate furniture assembly tools. There are reasons to keep everything, but those reasons may need a fresh look. A reminder of what you have may turn up an item that solves an issue or spark inspiration to continue a project. Also, the process of seeing what you have squirreled away will help organize your thoughts. Use a rainy day to sort a box, drawer, cabinet, or closet. Eventually, you will gain the motivation or confidence to confront larger projects or intimidating memories. The extra space and sense of accomplishment are nice but clearing out your mind is truly liberating. Support you do for you. Click the like, subscribe, and bell below. Shop my nature-inspired designs for t-shirts and more at youdoforyou.com. Links are in the video description.